Greetings. I am Tiffany Hanzo Martin, Wakubo staff, and it's my pleasure to offer you a preview of the Wakubo 2021 conference virtual venue. You will receive an email with instructions on how to log into the system. The email will come to you from nonreply at pathable.com with the Wakubo 2021 as the sender. If you don't see the email in your inbox, check your junk or spam folders. It could also mean your university's security filters are blocking it. We suggest adding nonreply at pathable.com as a safe sender. If you still don't get the email, contact the Wakubo office. Once you log in, you'll be able to view a variety of sessions to add to your schedule, browse the business partners, and send messages and meeting requests to other attendees. We will host a live open house on May 19th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to let attendees familiarize themselves with the platform and ask questions. This open house will be recorded and put on the Wakubo website. If you miss anything during the event, we will keep the platform open until December 2021, giving you a full seven months to take advantage of everything the Wakubo conference has to offer. Now, let's get started. When you receive your login email, you will click on the unique link and will be taken to the page to create your password. One of the first things you should do is complete your profile. Here, I can upload a photo, provide a brief bio, update my company information, field of interest, and others that will be searchable by other attendees. I can also update my communication preferences under the preferences section. Now that I have my profile set up, I am ready to preview the program and start building out my conference calendar. Under the schedule tab, I will select agenda. To begin building my personal schedule, I can choose to view all the sessions in a list view with sessions ordered chronologically or a calendar view. The time zone has automatically updated to my current time zone. From there, I have the option of checking the plus icon to add to my schedule. If I want to know more about the session before adding it to my schedule, I will click on the session. In this view, I can see a complete description of the session, speaker, and where I can utilize the chat box. I can use this now leading up to the session, during the session, and after the session. There is also a tab for polls, and this is where I will type any questions I have for the speaker. This is also the section that the speaker will put any polls they have for their session. Some speakers might have polls before their session starts and some will have them pop up during the session. If I see a question for the speaker that I like either before or during the session, I can click the thumbs up icon. The most popular questions will raise to the top, making sure the room host sees them and can ask questions to the speaker during the Q&A portion. I can also see if the speaker has any handouts that I can download and also see who has added this session to their schedule. There is a countdown until the session is live. When the session is live, this countdown will go away and a join live meeting button will appear. I will click the button to view the live session. If this event is a webinar, an embedded box will appear here and I'll be able to see the session. If the event is a Zoom meeting, the session will pop out into a Zoom box. It will be best to have two screens or a split screen to be able to view the Zoom and the Pathable session window. In the session chat and polling that will take place in the Pathable application. This will ensure if anyone is watching the session on demand, they will be able to follow along with the chat and see the polls. I can also take notes on the session and I'm able to download them at any time. After I've added all the sessions to my schedule, I can click on the schedule and select my schedule. You can also export or print your schedule if you would like. 
Now that I have my schedule set, I am really interested in seeing who else is attending this conference. I will hover over the people tab and see that I can see all the attendees, speakers, and set up a virtual video meetings and see the sectors. I will start with speakers. If I select a speaker, I can view their profile and associated sessions that the speaker is speaking in. I can ask to schedule a meeting or send them a message. I am also interested in meeting with other attendees with similar interests. I can search for attendees by name, by company, by interest, or you can search by a specific keyword. This all allows you to narrow down a list of people that you would like to meet with. For example, I have been really interested in meeting with Megan from Wakubo, and I would like to set up a meeting with Megan. So one of the first things that you will do before trying to schedule a meeting is to send an introductory message. And when I send this message, Megan will receive this to the email address associated with her registration. I will be able to also view this under the inbox section while I wait for a response. Now, let's check out the exhibit hall to see the business partners. I can click on any of these logos to go directly to their pages. There's a description of the organization, their contacts, any videos or recent sources they might have, and I can also see what activities they will be participating in as either sponsors or presenters at the conference. Here, I can ask a question, I can request info, or I can leave my card to have them reach out to me. Should you want to meet with them live, click the Join Virtual Meeting. This will take you to the page where you can see the next exhibit hall office hours. It also I'm adds going this to, check to if Megan personal. responded to my meeting request by clicking the bell icon. Look, I got a note that Megan would like to meet. This is great. So I'm going to go back into her profile and click schedule meeting. You can add multiple people to your private meetings. However, in this case, I believe that my colleague Cindy would also be a great addition to this meeting. Now I can choose the date and time. This column shows me opportunities for mutual availability. This other column shows the availability time slots to me. I can add a subject and a description. Then I will send the invite. While I'm waiting for Megan to accept and Cindy to accept, let's check out our conversations. There are many forums to participate in. If you have a subject, feel free to start one as well. The social wall is a fun way to stay connected during the event. We encourage all attendees to post your favorite social media outlets and tag hashtag Wakubo2021. Mountains of Points is our gamification center. You can win points by doing these tasks. At the end of the event, the top winners will get prizes. Should you need any assistance during the event, check out the help desk where you can contact the Wakubo staff. You can email, call, or instant message the office. We have created an FAQ page. Please review if you have any questions. I just want to check to see if Megan has responded to me yet. Not yet, but I can see that the Wakubo office has sent me a meeting request for 2.30 and it's not going to work for me. So instead of immediately declining the meeting, I will send them a message to let them know I am interested in meeting, but that's not a good time for me. 
The Wakubo office will receive a notification saying that I sent a message and they'll be able to update the, their meeting request. Before I go, please make sure to check out other exciting things on our virtual venue, like the service project, and make sure to donate to this wonderful school. As a reminder, we will keep the platform open to attendees to watch sessions, visit with business partners, connect with other attendees through December 2021. I want to thank you for joining us for a preview of the Wakubo 2021 conference on behalf of Wakubo. Please stay safe and healthy. Thank you.